Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick, short video on your limousine company today. The purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you show up in search results. And what I want to do today is just cover two factors with you because I want to keep this video short. But I want to go over these two things and show you a couple of things. Before I jump into that, I want to actually explain how many people are searching for limo service in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is a tool from Google. Okay, it goes out and does a count by month of search terms. And what you're looking at here is for the last 12 months from February back, how many people have searched for limo service in Charlotte, okay? And this rounds it up to the nearest 10. But anyway, there's 5, 390, 720, 1,000, 720, 480, 880, 1,000, 880, and January, I mean, I'm sorry, February is 590 this year. That is a lot of people searching for limo service, okay? in Charlotte. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So I went over here to Google and I did a search for a limousine service, a limo service in Charlotte. This is page one right here. Okay. Let's see where I find you. You are over here. There you are. That's your website, Executive Limousine and Sedan Service. And you are on page two. Okay. So Again, I just want to cover two factors with you. These are factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings. They obviously consider more than two, but to keep this video short, we're going to just look at these guys today. And I'm going to compare you with somebody on this page, looking at those two factors. I want to see if there's any differences between you and someone over here. And if there are differences, if there's anything that can be done about it, that would help you and move you up in search results, okay? So we're going to use CLT Express for comparison purposes. Now the very, very first factor, remember I'm only going to talk about two, but the very first factor I'm going to discuss is called citations. A citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing, okay? I'm going to give you an example. This website here actually goes out and finds directory sites. Here's a directory site called bbb.org. So if the executive limousine had a listing on bbb.org, a name, address, phone number listing, that's considered one citation, okay? Now, search engines like citations. If they like more, the better. They feel like it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do, okay? Now, at the top of this page, you actually can do a citation count. And I put your business in here. It's telling me you have 57 citations, okay? CLT Express, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 116. So like double what you have. However, the good news is that you can quickly and easily get added to these directory sites. So that this number 57, we can bump that up to close to 100 in short order. And when we do that, it's going to have a nice positive impact in terms of where you show up in search results. You definitely will move up, okay? So that's factor number one. Factor number two is something called backlinks. Now, backlinks are important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, there was a website called charlottelimosupplies.com and on their website they had a link for carolinaexecutivelimo.com Obviously that goes to your website. That's considered one backlink. Okay? Search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. For similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do. Okay? Now this website here actually does a backlink count for your site. <coughs> The number we want to look at is unique active. You have eight unique active backlinks. Okay, let's look at CLT. They have 25. Okay, so that's three times as many as you. However, good news is we can add backlinks to your site. We probably only need to add eight or ten. I'm gonna explain why. The reason these guys are ranking is because of this number right there. This score here is bad. That score should be closer to 20 or 30 percent. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your site. It's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you. Okay? The stronger the website, the higher that score is going to be. Okay? So for you, the reason I'm saying we only need to add 8 or 10 is because we can get this score up. We just need to add, make sure they're quality websites. Okay? And if we do that and we get this site, I mean the site score, inf link influence score up to 20, or high 20s percent or even low 30 that would be huge for you you would really jump in the search rankings I mean really jump 
So more people definitely would find you, okay? So anyway, we just talked about citations and backlinks today. But you learned that yes, there are differences between you and someone on that other page of Google. You also learn though that there are steps we can take to eliminate the differences, mitigate them. And when we do, with just these two factors alone, really give you a nice jump in search results, okay? So I hope you found this was helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I do not charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want more information about what I cover with my other customers regarding search results, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. So feel free to give me a call if you want to talk or shoot me an email. And we can go from there. Have a great day. Bye now.